everyone and welcome to the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. My name is Holly. I'm your host. I live in Virginia with my husband, my two kids, my cat and my dog. Um, this is a podcast about what I'm crocheting and knitting and, a and not occasionally and the yarn I'm hoarding. Hi Emma. My daughter's standing behind the camera because I am filming with an actual camera. Um, I normally do it on my laptop using my webcam but Excuse me. I decided to give my new camera a shot. So I do have a cal running in the Ravelry group, which is the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast group, and we are doing Hi. sweater shh, sweaters, cardigans, and tops. The tops count as long as they aren't super lacy, so no mesh tops. They have to have some kind of substantial toppy top stuff going on um and no kids or baby sweaters they don't count this is for us for adults only um let's see what else we do have a podcast group like i said um all show notes will be in the podcast group as well as down below so if i forget something on the screen or if I forget what I was saying or I don't put it down where it needs to be. Um, yeah, it will be down below. So I was really sick last week and I had literally a headache for five days, body aches, fever, whole nine yards, flu, boom, hit me. I was done for like a week. Um, so a lot of stuff did not get done. So I have no FOs, none whatsoever because I was so sick. Um, and I only have three projects and I've been fairly monogamous with my crocheting um, and been kind of working on mainly just one project. So we'll get into whips because like I said, no FOs. I have mainly been working on this. Is this the front? No. That's the front. This is the, oh my goodness, what is it called? Cloudberry Blanket by Joanna Lindahl. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, I'm using a four millimeter hook and a lightweight yarn. I believe it calls for a five or a five millimeter, 5.5 millimeter hook and a worsted weight yarn but I decided to do lightweight yarn. Um, and the color that I'm using is Lion Brand Mandala in Wood Nymph. Now I was looking specifically for like the cream and the cream, the light purple, and this dusty pink color right here. And I could not find it in single skeins like I wanted. Um, but I did find it in wood nymph so I just figured I'll get three balls of that that should make a decent size blanket because within those three balls let's see one ball is 590 yards so I'd have well over 1600 yards <clears throat> with three balls and I figured that would be fine um so meow you too um that is mainly what I've been working on. Um, this is a gift for my husband's grandma. And I've, like I said, I've been fairly monogamous, but there was literally six, seven days where I did not pick up anything, anything. And it kind of came at a good time. I mean, nobody wants to get sick and it's never a good thing, but my hands were, um, in a lot of pain up until I got sick so it kind of gave my hands a much needed break um, I think because I went so gung-ho on Emma's sock and knitting is still very new for me and like the finger positions and I hold yarn really tight when I'm knitting so I need to learn to loosen up my gauge um, but because of that my fingers were just killing me um, so yes I really didn't work on a lot. I worked on three things and 
Two of them is nothing to write home about <laughs> because it's not that great. So that is the one that I mainly worked on. So we'll put that back. Um, my next one is Randy from um, Hello. Hello. Random Randy's Fate. No, no. Random Randy's Ramblings. I was going to say her Facebook group's name. <laughs> um, she designed the Hungetsu shawl and I offered to test it and she took me up on the offer. So I did start the Hungetsu shawl. Um, I did have an issue with it um, with the increase. So I wrote her and she said, yeah, that was right. But I guess more people wrote her about the same issue and she realized, oh, that is not right. So I need to actually get the adjusted pattern to finish this because I didn't want to go any further and be like, okay, I have to rip back 15 rows because I knew it wasn't right in the first place. And then, shh, please. And then rip it all back because I knew it wasn't right. But anyways, so yeah, this is her Hungetsu shawl. I think I'm like, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was on the 10th row. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's like a half moon shawl, which is, I believe that's what it means in Japanese. Hungetsu is half moon. Um, I'm using Lion Bram and Dala and Genie. I'm just like going cake crazy lately. Um, I just like using cakes because it's just less ends to weave in. I mean, and with something like this, the color changes aren't that big of a deal. Yes, Emma. What? Yes. yes, I know you have the cat. So I just, I love it because it's less ends to weave in. Even though with the blanket, the way I'm working it, I'm kind of like splicing them now. So I get like a full color, at least one full color repeat around the whole blanket. So I'm taking the same color of each ball and like using one and then using the other. So I have a full color repeat around. <coughs> Emma. Shh. My last one is my knitted project. Um, which is Emma's socks, which I am not making any progress on. Um, like I said, I went bananas on one sock and Mom, I see the camera from there. Okay. So when I started was gonna start the second sock, my fingers were like no, not happening. I don't think so. Take a break. And this is how far I got. I literally cast on and I totally screwed up the first row of ribbing. So I might have to rip it all out anyways because I did one full row of knit stitches and didn't even realize it when I'm supposed to be doing a one by one rib. So I might have to rip this out anyways. And the yarn I'm using is this. This is um, Yarn Bee, or no, it's Baby Bee Sweet Delights Prints in Sprinkles. Okay, leave the cat alone, please. Um, Okay, you can lay with her, but you're holding her like she's a rag doll. Um, this is in the colorway Sprinkles, and this is actually the way it looks worked up in the sock. It's like that. And I totally love it. And I might make one for myself. And I realized I suck at the Kitchener stick. <laughs> it is so terrible. It is so, so, so terrible. Um, her socks may not last very long. Um, so I may try toe up socks next. So I don't have to do the Kitchener stitch. Oh. <laughs> because it's okay. So my camera shut off. Let's try and get through this quickly. Um, so that was all for whips. I really did not have much like I said I was sick for an entire week and didn't pick up anything um so next would be hoarding and what I'm hoarding has changed 
I bought some cream colored ice yarns 100% Morocco 100% superwash merino wool and I decided to give yarn dyeing a try and I know I said previously I'm not gonna do yarn dyeing because blah 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 but everybody was doing it and of course I had to do it too right like I have to be part of the trend <laughs> um so there was you know Michelle from Mickey Midge podcast that did it Lacey from the Hooked on Owls podcast Holly from Holly Creates Randy from Randy Rambling I was like oh my god I need to try it everyone's trying it and they come out so beautiful and I was like maybe it's not as hard as it seems so I gave it a try I bought some wool and supplies and this is what I came up with so this first I'll do it by first to last the first one is this guy um, Emma helped me with this first batch with colors so this is what we named pinky for Pinkie Pie um, and it is just a tonal tonal ish solid pink there is no like extra color there's no it's just pink um, and the next one I called Poseidon because I just I don't know the, the tones of blue just reminded me of the sea and who was the god of the sea Poseidon so yes I totally loved love 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 loved this blue um, and I just love how it starts dark and goes to light and this would be so beautiful in a hat or even socks if you wanted a nice thick pair of socks but this is 100% wool so you'd probably need nylon blend what this is no it's Poseidon so that's that and then this third one is my favorite and I named this one Nebula and it has these beautiful dark purples and this light pink and some tealy blues it's just gorgeous I love it yes Emma you like your cat okay and then this last one like I said Emma was helping with colors and she said red and green so this is Dirty Santa. It is this awesome red Mommy, and green. What? That's not Dirty Santa. Yeah, it is. That's what I named it. No, me. No. What is it then? It is Clean Santa. Clean Santa? Okay. Um, anyways, this is a Santa colorway. <laughs> Um, and it has speckles of green and then there's white and red and it's a little muddy because red and green make brown so that's why I kind of called it Dirty Santa although there's only small patches of the brown I feel like yeah these are already up on Etsy I figured I would give it a shot so if anybody wanted to try my colors you could um, but these are only 50 gram hanks, so I think it's like 120 something yards. Um, because like I said, I didn't want to spend a lot trying and like, totally mess it up. So these ones are the smaller skeins, but then because I loved dyeing those so much, I got more hanks. And these ones are from Knit Picks, so these are 100 gram skeins or hanks, and I believe they're 200 and 30-ish yard <coughs> so anyways my camera shut off again this is one night stand and then the second one I did is this one this is called um, California sunset or sunrise California sunrise because yeah. like seeing this and my husband even gave me the name 
but seeing this reminds me a lot of California sunrises. You wake up and you can see the sun coming up over the, the mountains and it just gives this pretty pink, orangey, yellow tone to the sky and it's just gorgeous. So this has a really nice yellow, deep yellow and some tonal variations into lighter yellows and this beautiful tonal pink. I love it. And I have to say, I'm going to be tying my own skeins from now because this is not the business. <laughs> it is terrible. Like this was a pre-tied skein from Knit Picks, but it just did not work. So the next one is also horrendously messed up. Um, I'm calling this one Goth at Midnight because there's these blacks and grays and this purpley pink. Yeah, mommy. And I, yeah. what? Um, why is that for the, um, the moon? And, for the, and why is that for the moon? Okay, can I get through this real quick, please? The pink and the pink and the yellow and it goes in the sun and that Okay, one. all right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So yeah, this is what I'm calling Goth at Midnight because I just love, love the blacks that I was able to get and the grays and the, this purpley. I love it. And it honestly kind of reminds me a lot of um, Dirty on Purpose by Volenvine. A little bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's Goth at Midnight. And then this last one is the ones that my husband chose the colors. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure I'm going to name it Lemon Lime Splash. Because when I see this, I think of Lemon Lime Soda. I totally think of like Sprite or Sierra Mist. And yeah. It is just this green and yellow with white. Um, yeah. I love it. I love the way it came out. It's super pretty. He was thinking Luck of the Irish, but... I don't know. I see more lemon lime. Hey, Mom. Yes, Emma. That actually goes in the grass, too. That one goes in the grass. Goes in the grass? Yeah. It matches okay. the grass. So, yes, that is what I've been up to this past week with dyeing yarn. It's been so fun, and I have four skeins left of undyed yarn, so I'm hoping that sometime this week I'll get another chance to dye yarn because... It is so much fun. I might list these um, second set online and see what happens if anyone's even interested. So yeah. Anyways, for chatter, like I said, this past week I was sick and I'm still kind of recovering. I have this like leftover residual cough. Um, it knocked me out like it was crazy and this past week has been kind of crazy in general. I mean, we had a death in the family. We had someone who gave birth. My cousin had her, my cousin had his daughter. Um, and we also found out someone's pregnant in the family. So it was kind of just this big, it was just a big crazy week with things happening um you know and we still have no idea where we're moving and it's like we're getting closer and closer and closer and it's just anxiety is driving me nuts because we still don't know when we're moving where we're moving to and it's just the military likes to keep you on your toes apparently so yeah so a lot of stuff has happened but we're just Hang it in. So as it gets warmer, I think the podcast is going to slow down a little bit and won't be every week. It'll be every other week. And like I said, life is going to be getting even more crazy because Emma is going to be starting school this year and I plan on homeschooling her and, you know, with moving soon too, it's just life is going to be getting bananas lately. And then I got to see it in the future. It's going to be bananas. Um, so yeah, um, podcasting may happen every other week 
at this point it may happen every week it it's really just going to depend on if i have the time on sundays to do it um or if i even have anything to show because like i said life getting more and more crazy i less likely to pick up the stuff you know pick up my crochet hooks or knitting needles and as it gets warmer that's even less likely to happen because i naturally run hot anyways like even getting into 60s is getting warm like too warm for me um so yes the hotter it gets the less likely i am to pick up yarn and have that stuff sitting on my lap and ugh, the hot me and heat don't mix so yeah that is it for this week i hope you guys have a fantastic week weekend um i'll see you guys when i see you because i'm not sure when i'll see you um but it, for sure if not next week for sure the week after so i will see you guys later bye